Hi guys, in another case of perhaps the Tories chose the wrong candidate, we have this report from Sky News, where the national grid has put in place plans to deal with a worst case scenario, rolling blackouts. Now back in August, European countries were talking about measures this winter to deal with both potential shortages of fuel for power stations and the cost of energy. But Liz Truss dismissed the problem and pledged that there would be no energy rationing if she became Prime Minister. While Rishi Sunak at the time warned that nothing could be ruled out. Now I'll leave a link to the story in the description of this video. So what would rationing and blackouts actually look like? Well, have a listen. And it outlines, we must stress this is a worst case scenario, a situation like this. It says in a very, very cold period of weather, which is also very still, which would of course reduce our capacity to generate wind power, when there was also problems importing electricity from European counterparts, and a significant gas shortage, which would reduce the ability of our gas-fired power stations to make electricity, at that point, there could be planned blackouts for British households. Now, in a statement, the spokesperson for the National Grid said, in the unlikely event we were in this situation, it would mean some customers could be without power for predefined periods during the day. Generally, this is assumed to be for three hour blocks, adding that the exact number of people left without electricity would depend on the extent of the gas shortages, because of course the UK gets 40% of its electricity from gas-fired power stations. Now this will be a real blow to Liz Truss, who has been very reluctant to talk about individual behaviour change and has also promised there will be no rationing in the UK this winter. And government spokesperson said in response to the release of these winter outlook reports, we are confident in our plans to protect households and businesses in the full range of scenarios this winter in the light of Russia's illegal war in Ukraine. And that spokesperson also emphasised that Britain is not so dependent on Russian energy imports and, of course, has access to domestic supplies from the North Sea and, of course, renewable energy as well. But there is no doubt about it. This warning in a very worst-case scenario of planned blackouts for British consumers will be alarming to many. Now, it's, um, it's important that businesses and consumers are warned this is the role of government. Now, there's nothing wrong, to, it, well, not to say there's nothing wrong with a blackout, but it's understandable that there may be a time when there are rolling blackouts, that energy needs to be conserved, behaviour has to change. That's understandable. And that's why it's important that the government are straight with people, that they're honest, that they explain the problems. We've been here before, during the pandemic. What was the British government's response to the pandemic? To ignore it at the beginning. To tell people you don't need to change your behaviour. Then when it became clear that they had to do something, they dragged their feet and they came up with arguments like, well, it's up to the individual if they want to, to wear a mask or whatever. Then they had to mandate it. Instead of actually take, dealing with the, pr the problem at the beginning, being honest with the public, taking a pragmatic approach, understanding, okay, th there is a problem, we have to deal with it. We have to inform the public, and if we inform them, they will, f they will follow the rules or they will follow the guidance, exactly like at the, pand at the beginning of the pandemic. And here we have it again. We have a candidate, Rishi Sunak, who told the public, we can't rule anything out. That was the correct approach. Yes, you don't need to frighten people, but you need to explain to people that there's a, there's a chance that um, because of what's happening outside the country, uh, we, we don't control everything that happens outside the country. We don't control everything that happens inside the country when it comes to creating energy as well. But be honest with the public and say, look, there's, there's a chance that we might need to have blackouts we need to we might need to change our behavior we might need to ration energy be honest well let's trust the opposite no 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 promise everything and then backtrack after you turn later and this creates a scenario where the public will resist it's important that you have the public on board if you want to encourage people to to change their behavior switch on their washing machine or their dishwasher uh, at night and not during the day when it's normally at peak uh, usage of energy. 
These are small things that people can do, but they need to be informed beforehand. There's no point doing it when you're in the middle of a crisis. And if you explain to people ahead of time that there's a chance that there will be uh, blackouts, that we will, but we will inform you as the situation changes, then it'd be more likely that people will react in a more positive way. Of course, many people will be angry, many people will be upset, but if you inform them beforehand that it's likely to happen, or there's a possibility, and you're working against it, then you're more likely to have them on board. But the current shower that's in charge don't look at it that way. They look at it as, as if we just don't tell anyone anything, and then when the problem arises, then we'll deal with it. Same with Boris Johnson. Liz Truss also talked about fracking, how, well, if we just frack, then we'd be able to uh, resolve all of these problems. Obviously, that's not true, and she wasn't honest with the public on that either. Fracking takes year, months or years to get up and running. The, uh, there's a massive amount of opposition to it. I just read to, uh, on Thursday about a story in an article about how uh, a, a council, majority conservative council, voted against fracking. So they don't want anything to do with it. The local community don't want fracking. The Tory response, or at least this government's response is, yeah, we're going to frack our way to energy independence and it will resolve all problems. Obviously not being straight with the public. So let's hope that there aren't blackouts. Let's hope that it's not necessary to ration energy, but at least be honest with people at the beginning. And one final thing. The companies can't sign off on this without permission from government. So they'll actually have to ask Liz Truss, yes, can we go ahead with these blackouts? And if she's taking a political decision, well, then she's going to say, no, you can't. And then what will happen? Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.